I think if he trains, it's his fight to lose, and I think. This is Jonathan Angie of Fifth Pro Boxing Fans, joined by Nissa Sowland here at, well, we're just near York Hall where you've got a show Friday night, live on Channel 5, headlined by Charlie Edwards. Uh, yeah, Nissa, talk to us about the COD. So, no, we're obviously very disappointed about Lerone's opponent falling through, um, but the card has more than enough to crack on with. You know, we've got a Southern Area title fight, we've got Charlie Edwards against Ori for the uh, silver uh, W. BC International Silver title um, and uh, we've got Tom Welland, one of our big stars of the future. He's going to be in his second six rounder. He's a very, very good step up in class. So we think this kid's going to go all the way. Um, and, you know, a few others to watch out for as well. Talks about Charlie Edwards. Uh, he's been with, you know, all the different promoters. Uh, he's former world champion. Tell us why he suited what you guys want to be doing. I think he's... Um the fire, he's a fighter who deserves a, uh, you know, another big go at his career, uh, former world champion um, and I think we get the eyeballs on him to make people remember how good Charlie Edwards is, um, he's an exceptional fighter, like I said he's a former world champ and I, I, I think he can, he's still got another world title in him and you know on the undercard uh, we've got a guy who's trained by Mikhail Kessler, uh, Oliver Zaran uh, tell us a bit about him well, Listen, you know, if, if Kessler takes him seriously, then he's a serious guy. You know, the Viking warrior, he'll be ringside on Friday night and uh, he's in his corner um, and he's fighting, uh, you know, a London, London uh, I think he's from London anyway, McCallum. McCallum? I can't say his name. He's not fighting John Harding? No, oh, John. Oh, I was going to say McCallum. John Harding Jr. Yeah, um, yeah he's fighting John Harding Jr. Um, yeah, it's, it's a tough fight. It's a good fight at John Harding. Um, um, and you know it, it, it's it's his to win, but he needs to turn up and and, and perform properly. Uh, just want to move on to some other guys in your stable. Josh Kelly, number one contender to new champion Sebastian Fandora. Uh, yeah, where what's the plan with with Josh? Look, if we get the opportunity, we'll fight for a world title. We're just waiting to hear. You know, you've got the IBF situation as well, where Marat, I can't say his name, Muratiev for uh, beat Cool Kai on Saturday. So that's also one where we're highly ranked. WBO, we're highly ranked. Um, you know, obviously there's been Terence Crawford's name bounded about what a fight that would be, what a spectacle that would be. Um, and look, it's, it's a case of uh, keeping him busy, but also also taking the right uh, opportunities when they come. Has there been any talks for that Crawford fight? I saw there's, you know, rumours on social media and stuff. Any talks? Um, uh, maybe a very soft touching on the subject with his uh, his uh, agents. Okay. Uh, Harlem Eubank, we saw him face off with Adam Azim. Uh, Eddie Hearn, not too happy about it. He felt that Dalton Smith uh, should have been the fight. Uh, yeah, first of all, talking about the Dalton Smith situation, can you understand it from maybe Matram's point of view or yeah what's your thoughts I think look I think when you win a European title you, you kind of put a target on your back um, it's saying that you're the best in Europe um, you, you are the champion of Europe so you should really fight your mandatories so at that point I don't agree with it at the point of not fighting Dalton Smith I kind of understand that it's not big enough and you know they, they, they may want to put that on Sky pay-per-view and I, I guess uh, at somewhere down the line but listen Harlem's in there to, to disrupt that and um, this all this talk is is going to be bothering him so um, you know I've compared it to the, the Canelo and uh, Mayweather where Mayweather took Canelo at the right age and I see this as the same fight so what's the latest with it do we have a date and venue getting there getting there it's a long process a big fight 
That's fair enough. Uh, Chris Eubank Jr., uh, what's the latest with him? There's been all kind of rumours. So, yeah, there's been a lot of rumours, um, but we hope to confirm something in the next week or so. Are you looking at a, a world title shot? I mean, again, Crawford was mentioned well, by him, but I don't know how much truth there is in that. I, I think logistically that would be very hard, considering they are the same trainers, but look, it's, it's going to be a big fight and we, it's going to be announced imminently. Okay. Uh, Misfits, uh, what, what's the latest? We thought we might get a Joe Weller Bazinga uh, showdown, but that doesn't seem too likely, I don't know. But what, what can you tell us about the big shows you've got coming up with them? Um, look, we've got a couple of announcements, as I understand it. I'm not involved first. Well, Callum, Callum. Yeah, yeah, but I know that we've got a couple of announcements coming this week. Okay. Two shows, one in London. Interesting. Uh, moving on, uh, we've got a big fight coming up next week. Oh, two weeks rather Haney against Garcia uh, yeah what do you think of that fight I, I think Haney's a uh, class fighter um, a real a real professor of the, the of, of the sweet science um, it's going to be a hard fight for Garcia you, you see all the stuff that's going on on social media and I can't help but worry about what state of mind what Garcia is in I said this before uh, social media can be poisonous um, and it can be a blessing as well so I, I just I just hope that it's a good fight and I think it will be um, I think Haney will win um, that's my two cents uh, Tyson Fury did a press conference today for his fight against Alexander Usyk and said that uh, he could drink uh, 10 pints the night before fighting Usyk and weigh 25 stone and still beat him uh, yeah what do you think of that and uh, how do you think the fight will play out listen I'm, I'm Tyson's one of his biggest fans so I, 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 yeah, I think that's pushing it a bit. Um, I think when he didn't train, you saw what happened with Ngannou. I think if he trains, it's his fight to lose, and I think I think he should beat lose it. Uh, just just closing off. Uh, obviously, you promoted uh, Philip Hergovic for for a long time. I understand he's sort of free agent. Maybe the talks he might be in in this five v five. What happened there? Did, did did the contract just come up and there was no nothing left to to work with? Or yeah. Yeah, look, we, we, we still text each other, we're still good friends, we still might work together in the future. Um, it's, it's just one of those things, you know, the Saudi deal came around for him and, and, and that was a good option for him at the time. Have you, have you found it quite, was it quite difficult to sort of match him because he, it felt like sometimes it, you know, fighters were like, well, he's the number one contender but there's a world title shot so why fight him kind of thing? I, I tell you what, if I had given him Mark to Maury when I was promoting him, he would have gone very angry with me because that's not the type of fights he likes. He likes proper fights and um, that doesn't do his talent justice. Uh, so uh, let's see who he's got lined up next. All right, Mr. Appreciate your time. Uh, just tell everyone why to, uh, why to watch uh, on Friday Night Live on Channel 5. Uh, watch live on Channel 5 from 10 o'clock. You'll see Charlie Edwards. You see the re re resurgence of his career uh, going for a second world title and a new belt. And you'll also see Tom Welland. The Wellard Army will be out in full force, and he's one of the big hopes for British boxing's future. Mr. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers.